President Barack Obama has landed in Dar es Salaam. It comes after his first trip to South Africa as president. Even though he announced a multi-billion dollar power project, the trip wasn't met with universal acclaim. Jason Mansouré reports. Touchdown in Tanzania as President Obama lands in the third and final country of his African tour. It follows his stop off in South Africa, a visit inevitably overshadowed by Nelson Mandela's health. On Sunday, the Obama family visited Robben Island and the cell where Mandela spent the majority of his 27 years in prison. Barack Obama. Speaking to students at the University of Cape Town, Obama told them not to underestimate their potential. Your ideals, your willingness to act on those ideals, your choices, can make a difference. And if there's any country in the world that shows the power of human beings to affect change, this is the one. Outside, a small group of protesters gathered at the university to criticize the US involvement in the Middle East. Despite the announcement of a multi-billion dollar electricity project, amongst everyday South Africans, opinion is mixed whether the trip has brought any advantage. It's a good thing for business people, not me as a citizen. I didn't benefit in his, his visit. Uh, yeah, from, maybe for in the future, this is better for them. Maybe. Like I said, when they talked about uh, any like imports and exports. So I think yeah, it's, a, it's a good thing. Yeah. Now the focus is on Tanzania, where Obama will meet with President Jakaya Kikwete to boost trade relations between the two countries. One of Obama's key objectives will be ensuring America's presence in Africa isn't overshadowed by Beijing. Jason Mansouré, Arise News.